This is video 17.4. We will be solving a problem using Gauss's law. The question. A cross section of a metal spherical shell of radius 1.5 meters is shown below. On the shell there is a net charge of 8 millicoulomb. We'd like to use Gauss's law to find the electric field at a distance of 1 meter and 2 meters from the center of the circle. I'd like to pause for a second to examine the illustration below. The gray circle is to illustrate the actual metal spherical shell on which the charge is placed. The inner green circle is to show the sphere at 1 meter at which we'd like to find the electric field and the outer green circle is to show the sphere of radius 2 meters at which we'd like to find the electric field. The blue arrows simply point to the radii of the various spheres, and the red arrows are there to illustrate the electric field which is pointing radially outward from the spherical shell of charge. Step 1 will be to find the electric field 1 meters from the center. However, the electric field inside a conductor is always zero. It doesn't matter if the conductor is hollow or not. It doesn't matter what shape the conductor is. The electric field inside a conductor is always zero. So at one meter from the center, the electric field is zero. The step two will be to find the electric field two meters from the center. To do this, we'll need to use Gauss's law. There are a number of equivalent ways of stating Gauss's law. I will use that the total electric flux, which I denote by phi sub e, is equal to the charge enclosed by the surface divided by epsilon naught, where epsilon naught is a fundamental parameter called the permittivity of free space. Here the electric flux is like the total electric field that passes through the spherical surface of radius 2 meters. As an analogy, we can think of a ring with air blowing through it. Somehow the total flux of the wind you might think of as being the wind speed multiplied by the area of the ring. So for a spherical distribution of charge, which we have, we have a spherical shell, the total electric flux is equal to 4 pi r squared times the electric field on the sphere. This comes from the fact that the radius of a sphere is, or the, sorry, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. And then we multiply that by the electric field. In our analogy with wind passing through a ring, we have the wind speed, which is like the electric field, and then the total area of the ring that the wind is passing through. Now this is only true on the surface of a sphere. If the outer shape was not a sphere, it was an ellipsoid, then the electric field would not be constant over the whole ellipsoid. It would vary. It would be less at points that are farther away and greater at points that are closer. But since we are looking for the electric field on this shell, the spherical, we can use this relation. Step 2 continued. If we equate the two quantities from the previous slide, we have that 4 pi r squared times e on the sphere, which are, is our total electric flux, is equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. This is just a statement of Gauss's law. We know that r is equal to 2 meters, because this is the sphere on which we wish to find the electric field. We know that q is equal to 8 millicoulomb. And the permittivity of free space is equal to 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 farads per meter. Rearranging the above expression, we get this. And then plugging in the numbers from above, we come up with this. Evaluating this expression gives an electric field of 18 times 10 to the 6 volts per meter. 
using Gauss's law made it very simple to find this answer. However, Gauss's law is only useful or is most useful when you're solving problems with a lot of symmetry. So in this case, we just had spherical shells or also in cylinders, Gauss's law can be used. For more complicated geometries, it's not so as simple, but it may still prove to be useful. And that concludes video 17.4. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.